Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a kind of a hybrid kind of video. It's going to be a what's in my bag slash packing up my bag that I'm switching into. I'm not sure if that makes any sense, but that's what I have to do right now because I am switching bags. It's a beautiful sunny day. There's no precipitation of any kind in the weather forecast for today here in New York City. So I am going to be popping back into my uh, Melly. So here we go. The bag that I am currently using is the Louis Vuitton Speedy 30B, which is a bandolier. And on the outside, it just has a little LV inspired bag charm. So yeah, I'm going to show you what all is in here right now. And then I'm going to transfer it into the Melly to see. Actually, it would be a good comparison as to, you know, size wise, what fits in one versus the other. And just really quickly, if you saw my video describing the, the not the flaw, but the characteristic of the Melly bag that I didn't like, it's that right there, the caving in situation that you see. I don't know if you, yeah, you, there you can see it. It caves in here and it caves in the back as well. Yeah, see? So it's not bothering me too much right now, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Okay, so what's in my bag? Okay, first thing is the Louis Vuitton cosmetic pouch. I'm sorry if you hear my puppy crying. I'm not letting him into my office because he's being a very bad boy. This is the Louis Vuitton cosmetic pouch in the PM size, the Damier Ben print. I'm actually trying to sell this little guy. If you're interested, um, leave a comment down below and I'll let you know what the price is and all that stuff. But this, um, since I'm not, since I haven't been successful in selling it, I'm using it as kind of like a catch-all. I was also selling my mini pochette, the, the, the small little pouch. I actually did sell it. I was using that as my catch-all. This is a lot bigger as a catch-all, so it's really good. I'll briefly go through what's in here. So first things first is just some Aveeno lotion. Uh, some small Altoids. This is... So I have, it's a nail clipper and some uh, nail file buffing, you know, that, that whole thing. It's just like a, a little travel one. I have some dental floss. Uh, some toothpicks. I have a Tied to Go stick. Deodorant. Oops. Deodorant. A little pair of scissors, foldable scissors. Now this is cool. My sister told me to do this and she gave me these. These are two little plastic containers. You could put whatever you want in there really. They're like for travel. But I keep in here, in one of them, I just keep a fashion jewelry, uh, like a wedding band, just a little band. And in the other one, it's just a pair of um, fashion jewelry um, earrings. So, you know, sometimes you're in a rush in the morning. I'm sorry about the puppy. Sometimes you're in a rush and you might forget to put on your jewelry. I always keep a wedding band and a set of earrings in my little pouch thing, just in case I forget, I'll have, I'll have that so I can pop that on. Um, this is in a very dirty, ugh. I think this is old. It's a very dirty uh, EOS lip balm. Oh, it smells good. It's not that old. Yeah, EOS. I have another one actually in there, I think. Um, and then this cosmetic pouch has just a little pouch there. And I keep um, this little, you know, feminine product uh, wipe. Those are, they, they come in handy. They just give you a little freshen up, but Anyway, that's that. Uh, the next thing in here is my Louis Vuitton Agenda in the GM size. I haven't filmed a walkthrough of this or like a, you know, what's in my planner kind of thing, but it's coming. I'm just trying to figure out the setup of how to best film it, but it's coming. So this is a Louis Vuitton Agenda in the MM size in the monogram print. Okay, this is my tech bag. This is just a Kipling. Tech bag with the little monkey. Oh, he's so cute. Look at the little monkey. Okay, 
uh, yeah, so this is my tech bag. Uh, it has one open compartment here, one open compartment here, and then a zipper compartment here. On one side, I have uh, a charger, and it's just wrapped in washi tape. My planner friends, you know what that's about. Uh, I have a little fan. This is really cool. Actually, there's my phone in here. Yeah. Um, it's a little fan. You plug it into the side of your phone. Ah, it's so cool. It's a little fan. You might think it's pointless, but it actually came in handy um, a couple times before. So that's in there. On the other side is a backup uh, battery pack. In the middle compartment, I have a pair of headphones with the regular um, headphone jack. And then I have a pair of uh, black Beats, wireless Beats. So that is in there. I'm gonna have to repack all this stuff. I just realized. <laughs> eh, I'll edit that out. Okay, next thing in here is, that's what I thought, an EOS, another EOS. EOS, EOS, whatever, uh, lip balm in a different flavor. So that's that. Uh, a receipt. Oh, this is a library receipt. I, I returned some books for my son. Okay. Next up is my Louis Vuitton agenda in the PM size, and I used in the Damier Ben print, sorry, and I used this as a wallet. I could do a walkthrough. I think I was holding it upside down. <laughs> I think, um, sorry, I could do a walkthrough on this if you would like, let me know. I have my eyeglass case. It's just a pair of uh, Tiffany and Co. glasses. And inside it has my glasses in the pouch. And then I have my contact lens, which I'm currently wearing, but I'll show you my glasses. Everything's blurry, obviously, because I'm wearing my contact lenses but these are really pretty I'll I'll put the description in the description box below I'll put the model number I don't know if it's still available but on one side it just says uh, Tiffany & Co and it has this beautiful little uh, gold detail on the side it has it on both sides and they're just like a, a like a grayish kind of sparkly subtle sparkle uh, frame so that's that what else? Okay, we're coming down to the end here, guys. Uh, this is the uh, Michael Kors pencil case in the uh, purple. And in here are pens, pencils, ooh, markers, a Sharpie marker, um, a sharpener, uh, paper clips, stuff like that. So, have that with me. This is um, a little pill case that I got from the container store. They have them in different sizes. This is a small one. They have one that's about that big. And in here I just keep some whoops, some Tylenol, some, you know, headache medicine. So that's that. Okay, here I have my business card holder. Uh, this is just a Kate Spade business card holder. It just opens up like that and it has my business cards down inside, which obviously I can't show you because it has my personal information on it. A couple receipts. This is also library, library receipt library receipt okay and at the very bottom I have 75 cents oh I don't have my my uh my coin purse sorry I don't have my coin purse in here I have to find it oh and a hair tie as well it's in there and that's it okay so that's all that's in that bag I'm going to reorganize my stuff because obviously I just pulled everything out. So I have to reorganize my stuff so that I could pop everything back into the melee and see where everything falls. I'll be right back. I'm back. Okay, so while I was off camera, I took my Speedy B, I stuffed it with bubble wrap and took the, the bag charm off and put it away on my bag charm display. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it down below. And I put the strap inside the bag and I put it in its dust bag. And now she's put away until the next time I need it. So now I have everything in front of me that I need. I did find my Louis Vuitton um, port, I think it's called Port Port Monet, Port, port Monero. I don't know, but it's just a, a coin purse. It just has my change inside. I have a little too much change. I have to 
have to empty some of that out and put it in my son's bank. And I forgot to mention that in my bag is also my iPhone. Uh, this is the iPhone 7 Plus and it has a Kate Spade case. Now I have everything I need. Okay, so now this is the Melly. So, I want to do this. Okay, so the Melly has a slip pocket on one side that's... I'm sorry for the creaking. I need to put some WD-40 on my chair. Uh, there's a large slip pocket on one side, and on the other side it has two smaller slip pockets. Okay, so in the bigger one, I'm going to place my phone. It fits perfectly wide ways. I'm not sure if you... There you go. You can see that. You can see that it's in there, I think. Creak. Whatever. It's in there. Um, on the... Oh, you know the other thing that's not in here is my key clay. My key clay houses my house keys and my key fob. That is going to go in one of these smaller pockets. And in the other smaller pocket, I'm going to put my business card holder. So there you go. You can see that's a good view of it. Okay. So I think the best way to pack this bag, I've noticed from the one other time that I've used it, is to stand things up. So the taller things that I have, uh, my Louis Vuitton agenda. Sorry, there's a plane flying by. Uh, my Louis Vuitton agenda, my tech bag, put that standing up over on the other side, my cosmetic pouch in the PM size, put that next to that, my sunglass case. Yeah, everything seems to fit better if you stand it up. My coin purse, you just get thrown down in there, doesn't matter. My wallet. Guys, this is going to be a separate video, but I need to give this wallet a break. I'm starting to notice that the glazing is starting to wear off in certain places and the constant opening and closing, it gives a little, you can't hear it, but it, it's like, there's like a subtle little creak to the ring area, I think. So I need to find a wallet. I just heard it. I need to find a wallet to give this a break. I have wallets. I have Michael Kors wallets. I have Coach wallets. I have Kate Spade wallets. I have Ralph Lauren wallets. But I want a Louis wallet. I'm insane. I do have one in mind. I'm trying to hunt it down and that'll be a separate video. But anyway, yeah, I need to give this a break. But my wallet is going down in there. And that's it for that stuff. Oh no, my pencil case. Sorry, I do need this today. Okay. And the only other thing that's not in my other bag that I need today is my uh, laptop charger, my Mac, my MacBook charger. And my MacBook, obviously, it ain't going in this bag, but um, I'm just going to carry it in my hand. I do have a laptop, um, Kate Spade laptop bag, but I'm not going to need it. So I'm just going to carry my laptop in my hand and that is here. It just has a pink case from Amazon and this is the the MacBook MacBook Pro, the newer one. I got it in 2017. So yeah, so let me I'm gonna pan down a little bit so that you could see better. Here we go. So that's what it all looks like inside. It just it seems that everything fits better if it's if everything is standing up. Um, I, the last time I carried this bag, I don't think there was so much stuff in here. So we will definitely see how I feel with it weight wise. It is pretty heavy, but I do want to beat it up. I do want to not beat it up. That sounds wrong. I do want to use it to the most, to the max, like to what I would normally use it for, you know, because I really want to see how it stands the brunt of my mistreatment not mistreatment but i think you guys know what i'm saying like i, I want to use it the way i would use it i don't want to baby it i want it to stiffen not stiffen <laughs> i can't speak i want it to mold itself to daily use and you guys that little that little dent 
and it's on this side and then the opposite corner on the back of the bag what do you guys think i don't know anyway so that is my what's in my bag slash transfer into a new bag let me know what you think if you like this video give me a like if you like to subscribe i love that too and check out some of my other videos um the last one that i posted was uh, a vlog and my son was in there and my puppy was in there so um yeah so thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye